Dogs they improve every quality of our life, making us more active and more sociable. They may make ours better, but sometimes this is not the case for our furry friends. According to Aquaros.co.uk, there are over 200,000 stray dogs in Cyprus. But not all hope is lost. We can still change this. To gain more knowledge, we interviewed a couple from Cardiff who recently adopted a dog from Cyprus. This is Frank, originally called Frodo, who has been living with his owners, Liam and Molly, for around four months now. Why did you adopt? So yeah, I think we adopted Frank because we both, um, we knew we wanted to get a dog. We both got to a stage in our life where we wanted to get a dog. We both grew up with dogs and it was important for us to adopt because there's a lot of dogs out there who don't, you know, have homes. They don't, you know, they go through quite awful things. So we wanted to do our bit to, you know, get a dog off the street. We've got friends that live in Cyprus and we went to go and stay with them in June. Um, so we think we got there on like the 12th of June and then the 13th we went and had um, a day out at the shelter. And the idea was that we were going to go and just walk some of the dogs there. And they advised that we should take Frank, who, who was Frodo, um, out as well because he's so good with other dogs. We met him that day, we went back and saw him a further three times I think and yeah. walked him and, and like got to know him and then we started the uh, adoption process. Pretty seamless I would say. Um, we didn't have to wait too long. Essentially what they do is you know, since Covid they don't put them on commercial airlines anymore because it's too expensive. They, they commandeer, is that the word? Yeah. <laughs> you basically have to wait for a slot to become available on one of those planes. Yeah, we had to wait, I think it was three weeks. That was really hard, wasn't three, it? Three like, or four crazy. weeks, and that was yeah. probably the hardest part of the process. How was Frank when he first arrived? He was quite manic, to be honest. I think his the experience of him then coming into a house and... It would have been his first time in a house. Yeah. He was uh, a stray before, before going to the shelter, so... We, I woke up one morning, Frank had got up onto the bed and he couldn't move, it was really scary. It turned out that he had a treatable illness, um, but then, and he's now been through sort of the bulk of that treatment, and it's like having a different dog again. There's a lot of advice about, um, I think it's three days, three weeks, three months, and the the three months point is when you fully, the dog is fully settled in and like used to your routine, so that was really reassuring for us. As we can see, Frank is one happy dog. He has settled in wonderfully, and has truly started a new life thanks to Liam and Molly. Please adopt and don't shop. They can change an animal's life forever.